What's up everybody, Frankie5152 here, and the new DD water tower here is here. Um, so just go over some of the stuff that you can get for rewards and whatnot with you real quick before we get into discussion how to best handle this. Um, medium of the ice barrier, a card I'm looking forward to get because I like using ice barriers. Um, if your opponent controls four or more cards than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent can only activate one spell or trap each turn. So just more control, you can stop them from actually activating more of their cards. Um, Gashiki Ariel Flip, you can add one Gashiki monster from your deck to your hand. It's not bad, anytime deck thinning is deck winning, right? Uh, Gashiki Natalia cannot be special summoned during the end phase of the turn. Turn to the fan. Oh, excuse me. When this card is normal summoned or flipped face up, you can target one Gashiki monster in your graveyard. Return that target to the top of your deck. I'm not too big on that. Um, spirit monsters are rough right now. Uh, Gashiki Amelia. Um, you know that when this card is normal summon flips up, negate all trap card effects on the field until the end phase. You must control another face up Gashiki monster to activate and resolve its effect. So that's tough with them being spirit monsters. Well, some of them being spirit monsters, but that is nice to be able to negate traps. Uh, water girl, useless. Ice water, useless. Uh, of course, you can get a rainbow pack, and they did lower it to uh, 5 points rather than 10 points, which it was last time. And also, you get two fire dimension packs as well, as you can see, I already got one of those. Uh, here's, you can go to the event details. Uh, when you beat it, you do get um, Cyronica, control both fish, and wing beast type monster. You can special summon, this, special summon this card from your hand. When you do, you can declare... Oh my goodness. I gotta end that. I don't know where that came from. Sorry about that. I normally don't have... I don't accept calls from Facebook Messenger. What do you do, you can declare... Monsters, um... Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I'll ever use that one. Fish and Winged Beast is very situational. Um, so I'm not huge. Oh, oh, so it gives you one. If you're using Gladiator Beast, you can then special summon that card. At level three to five, the levels of all monsters you control become, become the declared level. Um, I guess if you're gonna use a beat down Gladiator Beast, that might work. As you see, I've kind of gone through it a little bit. Um, I was actually just using a nice barrier deck. It's time to duel. Um, but probably the best deck is just Here a I simple go. auto farm deck. Oh, that's what I want to do. It's Currently, my auto farm duel. deck is MGX because I was Let's trying to level on. up. Who was it, Astra? Let's win my destiny heroes. Astro Bastion, one of the two. Yeah, this is it. Something with high powered, stay on the field, protect it, a fusion for all extra points, a tribute for extra points. Uh, that's kind of my go to. I think Bastion also has it. Yeah, I have them both set with it. Don't need a scale for it. Oh, that's not Let's go, Witness my And that's what I'm doing just to kind of get through the decks. Just uh, kind of power your way through it. I find it to be the most efficient way to do the DD fire because when I first started doing the DD fire, I was trying to get clear, 100% clear everything, and it was taking forever. I was failing a lot. 
So what's easier is if you just go in and you win matches. Just don't care about all that extra stuff. Just win for now. Finish it all the way. Get that level 30. And then, then you can get in there. So we'll play a couple matches. I mean, it's just... It's not very entertaining. Um, just a lot of grindage. I activate my monster's effect. Again with the deck thinning. Powerful monster, hard to get over with outspeller trap cards on turn. It's another reason why I was using ice barriers. It got rid of a monster when it worked. And then of course they pulled up. I'm enjoying this. It I draw. Come out four straight up. I set it the car. My opening moves have been an ideal situation. I end my turn. Oh. I guess I didn't ring this. Ring this card and destroy one face down card. Oh. I guess I came a little ill prepared for this match. There is nothing I need to fear. I draw. Well, now we get to stall. Oh, he get to destroy that. So never mind. We just lose. So this is how not to start the match apparently. Did we get Cranium Fish? I don't remember that being part of the rewards. Because that would be a nice addition to the little Mako decks. Um, and of course, you can't do anything with zero life points. I can't believe I lost. How embarrassing is that? Hit. And then you can restore. So yeah, um, <laughs> did not see that coming. Going with a middle aged Mac deck, then. Basically, yeah. Strong monsters, just go in, beat it, and then work from the top back down, trying to complete all the stage missions, because those usually give you the most, most points. So. And of course, you want to try and get the URs and the SRs and the packs, and then reset the box. Don't wait until you get everything, unless you really want to. Already much better starting here. Seen a lot of cards I just haven't seen before, also, so that one was kind of a surprise. There we go. I mean, mostly for victories, you just get one point anyway. There it is. You went. Oh, you got two points, so. 
And if you try and do all this, you're just gonna be waiting around forever. To build the deck, then go in. So a lot of times what you do is you build the deck just to be like, oh, achieve one kid without using any trap cards. All right, so you build a deck that uses no trap cards. Then you go through and pick out all the duels that need that, that meet those things. So a lot of, uh, there's a lot of deck out victories that you need. So you build your mill deck, you go through, you get all the mill victories out. Um, now while the card rewards aren't the greatest for this, um, what is good is you get a lot of gems, a lot of free gold. So it's definitely worth at least completing, at least going through and completing once, getting the free cards out of it. What do we have here? Didn't start off with the best starting hand here. Spirit goes back to their hand. So does that orb. I have no idea what it actually does. Oh, it's the healing of the difference or something like that. <sighs> Looks like we're going to use a trap card because now we're not drawing anything. Good thing too. I should have said that. There we go. Alright, so that's just the uh, general whatnot of the event. As you can see, you get plenty of gems. Uh, card mat at 417. You do get the guaranteed cards from just completing it all. That's a pretty neat Daedalus icon. The guaranteed you are once you finish the tower, and there is only 30 floors. Um, so yeah, I'm not huge on these events, but it is a nice way to earn some free gems, and with the new box, mini box dropping tomorrow, definitely want to get as many free gems as possible. Well, good luck guys, I have a great time.